and uh, my name is Gergely Nihaka and I'm uh, the head of the technology center and uh, you have seen now what Nokia solutions and networks are developing and I would like to so show you where and how do we do. I would like to show you what uh, Nokia solutions and networks and network labs is doing here in the Philippines in terms of research and development and uh, this is our, our, our testing and uh, I would like to show you the, the short story how uh, we are working here. So this picture is representing our story here in the Philippines. You can see this little boy is uh, some of our employees, one of our employees, and uh, the little girl who is a Finnish girl, and this is the first generation of mobile telecommunication, the robot. When the little kids are playing, and this is the first uh, generation, and in this building uh, we are developing the third and the fourth generation of mobile networks. Uh, for Nokia solutions and networks. And this picture symbolizes our journey because this is a journey for us. We are, I believe that we are the first real RNA telecom RNA facility in the Philippines. And uh, that's why this little boy says, come in a month. This is our turn. This is our turn to join the world class telecom RNA community uh, in Nokia solutions and networks. Sorry, I almost was always Nokia Siemens networks. So this guy is calling, hey, this is our turn. Let us join to the World Class Telecom Army. And our uh, journey is symbolized with our GP. Because this is a very traditional Filipino street view. The bus stop, the GP, and uh, because we have, we have to know that uh, Yeah. Yes, this uh, was coming on, on its own engine, and uh, this one here, and this is full of symbols, and uh, this GP represents the journey that we do uh, to join Philippines to the uh, R&D community of Nokia Siemens Networks. A lot of people ask me, and I'm sure you will always also ask, so let, let me try to address this question, why did we open in the uh, Philippines? And the answer is uh, not so simple, but it has several reasons. The first and foremost reason is that we believe that we have, we have talents in the Philippines who have to work in a real R&D community. The second one is the cost, and there are many others. But the most important that we believe that there is talent in the Philippines who are able to do a great and outstanding job with R&D uh, infrastructure. So we try to differentiate ourselves from other companies by, uh, let's say, other BPO companies that we really create an R&D environment. What do you need to have a good R&D environment? First of all, you have to feel home. We have to feel comfortable. And we try to do this in our office uh, with all our actions, what we do here. So um, this GP symbolizes our journey. It's full of symbols. Ground floor is a team of Philippines. Why? Because obviously we are in the Philippines. And uh, every aspect in our uh, building in the ground floor represents Philippines. So we have the big major meeting rooms after each province of the Philippines. This is Filipinas, the biggest one. Uh, I, I tried to open, I don't know if there's anything. You can tell me. This is uh, our that's the biggest room, Filipinas, with the map of the Philippines on the ceiling to represent always where we are. And all the meeting rooms here in the ground floor is one area in the Philippines, one province of the Philippines. One. We have Visayas, we have Mindanao, and we have Luzon. Uh, the uh, in 2011, uh, July, we started our operations in two, uh, late 2010. And uh, right now we are around uh, close to 500 engineers working for us. Uh, so we have reached this 500 uh, number in uh, less than three years and uh, it was very nice that the president came and inaugurated the office by himself, my excellency.